Hi, this is JP, and in this video, I'll briefly talk about setting up the AMO100 light artillery oscillator and using it as the sound source for a modular synthesizer. The AMO100 LA features an all audio rate internal path and 128 waveforms. We have removed a few of the preset inverted waveforms from the 400R and 1200BR to allow correct one to one mapping in the combinator. The removed waveforms are still available by simply inverting the output with the depth knob. Unlike Pulsar, the AMO100 LA features non-aliasing audio, up to around 18 kHz of harmonic content. It can output and be modulated by both CV and audio signals. The AMO devices are also the only oscillators to provide separate lag controls for independently smoothing the upslope and or the downslope of a waveform. Its compact design means it won't take up much space in your rack and several useful controls, the oscillator on off, waveform select, oscillator rate, invertible depth and the phase are even available with the device entirely folded up. In the full view, we have a pulse width control and one shot trigger mode for the low range and tempo sync outputs. A uh, handy front panel CV trim knobs for rate, depth, phase and envelope input and the keyboard portamento control for playing the 100LA via a keyboard. You also have the times to multiplier output knob. So we've got our first oscillator here. So let's connect up an audio output and set the device to the high range. Note that the 100LA oscillator is always on so as soon as we connect it, we'll get an output. We can turn it off or reduce the output level. For this demonstration, I'll simply increase the mod wheel, which is pre-routed to decrease the depth value. If I increase the depth, the oscillator can now be faded in or out. Of course, it's playing a fixed value. So to play via the keyboard, we need to turn on the keyboard input by switching the keyboard portamento control here onto keyboard. Now if I play the keyboard, the pitch tracks correctly. Move the keyboard portamento control into the portamento range and the pitch will glide from one note to the next. Used in conjunction with the mod wheel, and you have a virtual theremin, the keyboard controlling the pitch and the mod wheel the amplitude. The included combinator patches map the expression pedal to portamento, allowing you to adjust the glide speed dynamically as well. This is really cool, but it's just a drone. The tone itself doesn't stop. This is because AMO 100 LA does not feature an internal amp envelope. Since we don't always want or need to be using theremins, we need a better way to control the oscillator. Let's really start building this patch. I'm going to combine this AMO100 LA and attach it to a line mixer. In the TS8450 programmer, I'm going to disable receive notes for the AMO100 LA. The best results with modular synthesis in Reason, you will need a Charlotte envelope generator and MIDI voice splitter. You could use Thor for the envelope, but it's a lot of device for a very limited envelope and you'd still need the extra voice splitter. And Charlotte can do all that in a single and quite small device and has a cool trick that we'll see later. Tab round and you'll note we have three sequencer CV inputs on the ammo, envelope, gate and note. These are designed to match the Charlotte Vegan set, voice, envelope, gate, and note. So hook the first Charlotte Vegan group up to the ammo. The envelope input is essentially a gate input, but the crucial difference is that it will keep the gate open when the note is released, thus allowing Charlotte's note release stages to trigger correctly.
With the Charlotte connected, set an envelope. And most importantly, we need to tell the combinator to trigger the Charlotte by enabling its receive notes. If I now play the keyboard, we've got full envelope control. I'll add a re release trigger by adding values to the seven and eight stages and the amp envelope will respond correctly. So we've got a basic modular patch, a single oscillator being controlled via a gated amp envelope. It's a bit dry though, so the first thing to do is add some reverb. In true vintage synth style, I'll add a spring reverb insert between the line mixer and the combinator output. We usually need to add a filter. There are a number of options, both in Reason and via third-party rack extensions, uh, but for now we'll just use the old faithful, the ECF42. And now you could use the existing Charlotte envelope and connect a spare EG output to combinator CV1 input, then route that to the ECF42 filter frequency. For now though, we'll simply trigger the ECF42's own ADSR envelope by enabling its own receive notes in the programmer. Insert the ECF42 between the Ammo 100 LA and the line mixer. Start playing and adjust the filter's ADSR. From this simple setup, we can now start adding more oscillators and gradually building up our modular patch. Add four more instances of the Ammo 100 LA. I'll dupe this first one thrice. Rename them oscillator 2, oscillator 3, and oscillator 4. And now I'll create a whole new one that I'll call vibrato. Connect up additional Charlotte vegans to them. Disable notes in the combinator. And connect the duped audio oscillators to the line mixer. For the vibrato ammo, which being a new creation defaults to low range, we'll connect it to the CV rate inputs of the four oscillator ammos. I'll set a triangle waveform at seven hertz but I'll use the lag, which will just soften the peaks a little so that it's not a pure triangle or a pure sine wave. While you can add a separate ECF for each oscillator, for simplicity I'll just move this one between the line mixer and the reverb. If I play the keyboard now, we trigger four voices monophonically. Remember that they are free running oscillators, so they cannot be synced, but we can do several other things to shape our modular patch. We can change the waveforms. Alternatively, we could change the semitone. Or we could manually detune them by adjusting the sense value. 
can also make the entire thing a four voice polyphonic synth by simply setting Charlotte's voices control from all to four. You don't have to play all four notes at the same time though, and indeed by setting Charlotte's priority control to rotate and only playing two or three notes, you get a polyphonic wave sequencer. Provided you play at least one note less in the chord than there are voices, rotates can be used on chords up to seven notes using eight ammo oscillators. I'll put the synth back to monophonic by changing Charlotte's voices to all. Now audio rate FM effects are easily achievable by modulating an oscillator with another oscillator. Simply connect the output of one ammo 100 LA to the audio rate CV in of a second. For best results, keep the pitch of the modulator the same pitch as the carrier or whole octaves apart. But by the same token, feel free to use different pitches for the modulator. For example, turn off the keyboard control for it completely. You can adjust the level of the FM input either with the rate CV in control next to the carrier's rate knob or the depth or output controls on the modulator. Also note that we still have vibrato present via the CV rate input. Amplitude modulation, AM effects, are likewise created by hooking up to the depth audio input. Because you have four audio outputs on each AMO 100 LA, you can still use the modulator as an audio output or use the carrier to modulate the modulator. Now we can finish off the whole patch with some effects and I'll add the awesome chorus powerhouse that is Chenille. And there we have our basic modular patch. A selection of preset combinator instruments and effects are included in the Ammo 100 LA package. But please note that the majority of instruments do require Charlotte Envelope Generator. The Jiggery Pokery Super Spider range is also highly recommended as a number of patches do make use of these as well. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope that's given you a few ideas about using the MO100 light artillery and Charlotte envelope generator for creating real modular synthesizers in reason.